let's just say you have found a beautiful looking guy online and you downloaded it for free and you now want to use it for your model. Well, if you put it into the socket for the eye uh, and you hide the, the old eyes and you simply just parent it to the rig, it won't move with the eye control. You actually need to, uh, I have already done it. So when I go to the material, uh, you can't see the detail in the material preview, it's just not set up. But if I now take the eyes, uh, I take the eye control and I move it, the eyes follow. Uh, same with the old eyes. If I enable the old eyes, they follow like that. So to achieve this, you will place the eye in the socket, uh, try to get the the size basically the same as the old eyes. It's just so that it fits into the eye socket properly. You have to position it carefully because then if you will rotate it with the uh, eye control rig, it could actually clip into the mesh. Right now it looks fine. So now you just need to duplicate it. I could actually turn on my key history. Well, I have finally figured out the uh, issue with the screencast keys. Okay, so you can see what I'm pressing on the bottom left if you ever need to. So now that you've duplicated the eye and you fit it in the other socket, you can then select both eyes, uh, hold shift, select the rig, press control tab to go into the pose mode. With both eyes selected, select the head bone and press control P and parent it to the bone. Go outside the edit mode, select one eye, go into the modifiers, add an air measure modifier, move it to the top and select the rig as an object. Do the same for the other eye. Okay, now select the rig, go to the data tab and try to find a layer that has your original armature. It should look something like this. Select the eye, shift and le left click the armature. Go into the uh, pose mode again. Now with the eye selected, select the appropriate bone. In this case is control eyelid base R. Press control P and parent it to the bone. Do the same with the other eye. Go outside the pose mode. You can turn off the layer for the extra bones or for the original armature, should I say. And now if you move the eye rig, you can see the eyes don't move properly. Uh, now you need to basically select your or original eyes and you need to copy all of these vertex groups onto the new eyes. So basically just go into the edit mode. You can turn off the uh, new eyes for now. Go into the edit mode. Uh, select any vertex group. I would start with the left eye. And basically just hit select. Now you can see that this basically you can press the... <laughs> I don't know what's it called. You can see it on the bottom left. Uh, to see all of the vertices that are selected on the eye. So now you can double click this. Copy the, copy the name of the vertex group. Go back out of that mode. Now you can unhide the new eyes. Click on the left eye. Create a new vertex group. Control V. Move it to the top. Go into the edit mode. Select all vertices by pressing A. And click assign. You can do the same for the right eye. Oops. A, assign. Now, you can create the control vertex group for the eyes. Where did I assign it when it's not... Wait, what? Yeah, okay. Uh, I made a mistake. Yeah, I put it onto the mask layer. Yeah, that's my bad. Apologies. Create a new vertex group. Again, control V. Edit mode. Press A, assign. Go back. 
Now control the, uh, the name of the new group if you have one. If you don't, then you can skip ahead. Create a new group. Again, all of the all of the vertex group assign. Uh, your vertex group might differ if you have more of them. So you need to watch out for those. Do the same here. Create a new group. Rename it. Uh, the names have to be the same uh, as uh, they were on your old eyes. So be careful with that. Again, edit mode. Select all vertices. Assign. Done. Now, if you move the eyes, they move properly. You can't see it now, but if I go into the material pre preview at least and turn off the old eyes, now you see that they move properly. There is some clipping here and there, but that's because I didn't bother to place them properly. So now that that's done, you may think that's all. I mean that, that you're done. No, you're not. Because now when you move the head, the eyes will do this. There's a really easy way to fix it, so just select the eyes, select the body mesh, click Ctrl P and parent to object. Now when you select the head, it will behave normally like it should. Okay, I shouldn't have done that in the rendered mode, especially in cycles. And now you have beautiful looking eyes. Here's a quick comparison. These are the new eyes. These are the old eyes. That's quite the difference. And that's it. You're done. You can do this with everything basically. I hope I have helped you. At least somewhat. And uh, yeah. Keep making awesome art. Have a great night guys.